Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we take a quick look at the Smith & Wesson M&P 45 Shield. This is a gun that I've been curious about for quite some time. I've seen a number of videos and people say that it's a very, very good carry gun. Chambered, of course, in 45 ACP. It's something that I never really looked into, the shield. I've had shields in 9mm and I know their reputation. I know how much people like them but i've just personal preference i've never been a fan of the shield the grip never felt comfortable in my hand it's a little too thin a little too pointy the way it fits into the web of my hand it was just not for me i'm not taking any merit away from it it was just not something that attracted me until the 45 came into my radar i'm going to tell you some things i like about it and some some things that i don't so we already checked it as safe. This I didn't purchase it new. I found it used at my local gun shop at Range USA, and it's in very good condition. Inside it looks brand new, and it came with Trigicon night sights, so that was an added plus. And then the way I've been carrying it, this has been my carry piece for a number of months now, and I purchased, they didn't send it to me, I purchased a CYA Kydex holster with a black carbon fiber. Really like it. It's very comfortable, very light, well made, and not very expensive. So I'm a fan of the CYA holsters. It didn't come with the original box. It came with what you see here, except with the holster, just the gun, two mags. It comes with two metal mags of a 7 plus 1 with the extended base plate and the 6 plus 1 with the flush fit mag. So to show you how that fits. So that's the flush fit mag right there. I have a medium sized hand and I can get a comfortable almost full three finger grip with that. With the extended base plate I got more than enough real estate here for a comfortable grip. So very nice and another thing you're going to find in this shield in the 45 it's kind of like I wouldn't say like a transition gun like the Glock 19X was between the Gen 4 and the Gen 5. This is kind of a transition gun between the Gen, uh, the, the 1.0, if you want to call it, from the Shield, and the 2.0. And this is when the first you started to see the scalp serrations up here in the front, kind of useless, but at least they're there. And you also see them in the back. But also you started to see the texture. Here, you can see in the original Shield, I don't have one to show you, but the original shield didn't have this texture in between the front and back texture panels, if you will. And um, I wish it would have some of that texture up here because this is very good. So it's better texture than you see in the 1.0 and you see it as well now in the 2.0. Another thing that I did not care about in the first shield that I had, the 1.0, is the hinge trigger. I've never been a fan of the hinge triggers. I didn't like them in the Smith & Wesson. I don't like them in the FNs, FN. But let me tell you, the trigger in this 45, and I'm only talking about a sample size of one, but the trigger in this 45 shield is spectacular. It did, it is smooth. You have, you hit a very pronounced wall, you break through it, and it's an instant break. And then on the reset, is very tactile, very audible, and it's there, and you're instantly on the wall, and it breaks again. I don't know if I just got very lucky, but this particular sample breaks beautifully. It's got the witness hole on top, if you want to check whether you have a round in the chamber or not. Of course, you should always visually inspect it, not rely just on a little peephole, but at least it's there. And like I said, it's got Trigicon night sights, not from the factory, whoever owned it before me installed it. Very good shape, look at the size of that barrel there, 45 ACP. So very nice, very, very nice. The one thing I'm going to disagree, and it's all personal preference, but the one thing I'm going to disagree with some of the reviews that I've seen, people say that this is a very soft shooting 45 ACP and that it's almost like shooting a 9mm. Well, maybe it's a manly man's gun and just not meant for me. But let me tell you, this is not, I would not classify this as a soft shooting gun. You definitely feel the kick of the 45 ACP. 
and it's not something to be taken lightly. It's a handful. Now, having said that, it's very, very accurate, at least in my hands. So if you can put up with a recoil, it's just pure physics, guys. You have something this small shooting a projectile that big out of a barrel that wide, it's not gonna be a soft shooting experience. But as I said, it's a very, very soft shooting gun. I mean, uh, accurate shooting gun, that's what I meant to say. And the texture, this, this new texture that they put in, new for the time this was made, makes a world of difference and it carries down all through the mag, through the uh, base plate of the mag. Now, the one thing that I did get was the talon grips. I haven't installed them yet, but this is the pro texture of talon. And what I like about it is, well, not only they fit perfectly, but it'll carry the texture all the way to the top. And you just wrap them around. And I've been very happy with the talon grips and they just, not one has come off the guns that I have. And that was the pro grip, the new pro texture. And this is the regular rubber texture for talon. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna end up with, it's not that the bottom part needs it. I just don't want the texture to carry on to the top. And also for me, even though I have medium sized hands, I, I want the grip to be just a tad, tad bigger, a little wider. So I'm looking to see if the talon grip will help there. And perhaps I will go with this pro texture right here. And the nice thing is that when you buy the, the talon grip, either texture, you can also get the texture for the base pad or the mag. Let's see if I can do this around the camera. So it comes already cut for it, as you can see here. I'm hoping to get out of the way and maybe the focus will catch up. There we go. You see it there, you just wrap it up in the bottom of the mag. It's already cut for it. So then all you have to do is install this, install the top, and now you've got matching textures, top, top and bottom. You, it doesn't matter if you wanna go with a regular or with a pro texture. So that's a quick look and how it fits here. Fits like a dream in this Kydex holster from CYA. It fits very, very nicely. It's been a very comfortable gun to carry. So I wanted to show you this. I bought this for a very reasonable price. Online I'm seeing them anywhere from $550 all the way down to four in the 400s, in the high four, mid 400s. So it's, it's definitely not a very expensive gun and I think it represents a very good value for the money. And like I said, this trigger is just wonderful. And again, personal preference, I'm just nitpicking it a little bit. I wish the grip was just a little, little wider. For me, with my grip, the controls are right in the, in the, in the right place. Uh, I'm not riding the, the slide release too much. I did when I first got it, but I, I got used to it. it. Takes down like a normal shield. You can see a little bit of the inside. Let the focus catch up. Just nice. So there it is, the Shield 45 ACP by Smith & Wesson. What do you guys think about it? Do you have any experience with this? I'd like to, I'd, I really would like to know what your experience and impressions are with this pistol. And as always, thank you very much for stopping by. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. I'm very active on Instagram and there you can see what's going to be in, on the channel way before it hits YouTube. Please thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, God bless.